Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Your boy JC, everybody thoughts is in the building. I'm a professional life coach, professional daily relationship coach. I'm a husband, a man of God, and a brand new father. So, congrats to my wife and I. But yeah, though, today's topic is why do married men continue to pursue a single woman? So everybody gather around, should be a good one today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to this channel, to the video, etc. Yeah, yeah, though, let's get into it. Why do a lot of men uh, approach single women? Uh, one thing is I've I've been uh, watching a lot of other coaches' videos, and a lot of times they talk about the woman's aura or the woman's appearance or how she's carrying herself. Well, nine times out of ten, that has nothing to do with why a man's approaching you. I mean, a man is destructive. A man doesn't have any kind of value for himself, any kind of values for his wife or his family. That just has nothing to do with a woman. So we have to stop putting the blame on a woman for a man's indefensicies. Uh, that's something that we as men have to stop blaming a woman or oh, how she's dressing, uh, how she's talking, etc. cetera. You gotta put the blame on the men because if you're a married man, you actually went underneath God to say your oath to your wife, you need to be committed, point blank. I mean, there's no, there's no wiggle room, there's no uh, in and out, you know what I'm saying? When you guys go to the court courthouse, you guys sign legal documents to each other. That's the only person you need to be focused on. I mean, a lot of times men feel like they can be with you and want to play, play, you know, they want to play we with you, but then they still want to play the field, which is not marriage to me. That's not representation of marriage. Marriage is togetherness, uh, holiness, uh, being 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 there for each other through sickness, through poor. That's marriage. You know, there's no in between. There's no side. Nothing. It's you guys are committed. You guys are together. That is it. So I don't know why a lot of even dating coaches keep talking about. The woman, oh, she's her aura, or it's how you present yourself. That has really nothing to do with a man's action. It's just whether he's single or he's married. If he doesn't have no kind of integrity, he don't have any kind of um, any kind of integrity, then he's just no a no good man. So you don't need to keep blaming women for all that stuff. I know for me, me being a married man, I honor my vow. I honor the person I'm with. You know, I honor that. I honor her story. I understand what she had to do to get to her point. That's me, you know what I'm saying? And I understand I'm trying to be a man that's trying to build something. We already have a daughter together and I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to see our daughter grow and develop. So that's where my heart is. So anytime a man's gonna sit there and tell you, hey, you know, it's about you as far as why he's cheating on you, etc." No, it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with the other woman. It's all about him. You know, like, for example, if I decide to do something outside of my marriage, then the blame goes on me because I'm the one that went underneath God and I'm the one that changed vows to my wife and, and vice versa. As she, as she does take about the marriage as well, too. It has nothing to do with another guy or anybody. It's about us. So that's one thing you have to realize, too. You know, a man doesn't have any kind of integrity, no kind of values. Uh, he will he will go out there and try to play the field. He try to cheat on you. He try to mistreat you, etc. So that's what I'm saying about why do married men continue trying to approach you? Because a lot of married men they weren't married to begin with. You know what I'm saying? They have the paper, but they wasn't mentally, they wasn't physically, they wasn't emotionally ready for marriage. You know, to so get ready for marriage, you have to be committed well before you guys say I do. And that's the one thing that a lot of men are not realizing is that before you guys say I do, you have to be committed to that woman. You know, weeks, months, how long, years going into the marriage. Like I'm really committed to this woman, to life, till um, death do us part. So that's what that's what you got to be a mindset. If you you know plan on getting married, this is this is not a go. This is not a game. This is not. Uh, one little ride you can get on, get off, like a hop on bus. You can't do that with marriage. You guys are committed to a death to y'all part. This is the goal. You guys to one day be laying next to each other and you want to have great 
powerful uh, moments with each other. So that's really the vision that my wife and I have. So like I said, everybody's value system, everyone's belief system is different. So that's what I'm saying. You, Dana, man, you guys are getting married, constantly walking out on you, constantly cheating, constantly, you got to constantly look at a man's phone, emails, um, check out his social media, then it's not, it's not a good, it's not a quality man to have been getting married to. But I can't really blame you. I always had to blame the man because you the one that took this old, you the one that approached this woman. Like I said, don't sit and disturb a woman peace if you don't mean her no good. Point blank. You know, we as men just got to get better. You know, our mindset got to get better. You know, we have to make sure we are containing our dog. What I mean about our dog is our sexual desires. When you get married, that all that goes away. You know, what you was doing in your single life, what you was doing when you were in college, when you was doing your early you, all that has to go away. Once you guys say, I do, there is no tomorrow. You are focused and you need to be zoning on that woman, making sure that you are the best man for that woman. You know, understanding you guys are going to have, you know, good days, bad days in between, but there's always going to be a common middle. You guys are always supposed to come to each other for help. You need any kind of help, assistant, your wife is there to bring that. That's what you have to realize. Your wife is there. She's supposed to be your favorite. She's supposed to be your blessing. Y'all supposed to communicate with each other. Y'all not supposed to uh, degrade each other. Y'all not supposed to go outside your marriage and talk to other people. Um, like I said, you need any help, go to a professional, you know, hire someone professionally. But um, just stepping out and not being uh, married is unacceptable to me. You know, the ring, you know, going outside and not having your ring on, um, not being ready for marriage, just don't waste her time. Don't let her go through that shame of going, getting married, and then next thing you know, hey, you know, this guy cheating on me. You not know how how bad that looks on her as far as going to her friends or family, looking at her like, oh, well, I knew, knew that guy wasn't about nothing. Like I said, if you're going to be married, be married. You're going to be single, be single. Like I said, marriage ain't for everybody. But yeah, though, make sure you like, share, subscribe to this channel, to this uh, channel. Make sure you check out Instagram page, etc. Uh, Till the next video, I'm out. JC, everything thoughts.